Hi guys, welcome to this session in LibreOffice Base Database. In this module, I want to show you how you can start creating your own database using Base. So I'm in Calc at the moment, but I'm going to go File New and then select Database. That will open this window and give you the option to open a previous database or create a new one. So I'm going to create a new one. So I'm just going to follow the wizard through, go Next. Um, I don't want to register it, so I'm just going to tick this option and then finish. And then that gets you into this save box where you can name the database. So my database is what I'm going to call it. And then just create that. So now you have the opening screen where you've got four panes. You've got this pane on the left with tables asking if you want to create a table and design. Uh, or use the wizard or create a different view. You've got different objects down this side as well where you've got queries, forms and reports. Today I'm just going to focus on creating a simple table and then I'll build this up over the weeks to come. And I want to create a table in design view so I'm clicking on that one. And basically what you've got to do here is label your columns where it says field name. I'll just make that a bit wider. So this first one is going to be customer, customer ID. And it's going to be a primary key. So I need to put this onto, you don't have to put this onto number, but I'm going to put it onto um, a number integer. And this little symbol here, if you right click on it, you've got the option to make that a primary key. So now that's a primary key, so there'll be no duplicates. And you've got some options down here, auto value. I do want that to be an automatic value, but I, I want to um, make sure that goes by one every time. So that's okay. There are some other field settings. If you come over to the right here, format field, you can click on this box and select different format options from in here. Different labels and not labels, number formats in this center box country references etc etc but i'm not going to do that just going to cancel that off and just start typing in some other column names so customer name going to be, is going to be next now i'm not leaving any spaces between that i'm just going to capitalize the first letter but you can see that it's defaulting to text customer name and then i'll just do address and coming down i'll just do city and telephone number tell now telephone number does have to be text as well because if you put it to a number it'll, it'll remove the lead in zero now each of these fields if i click back up through them have different format options down here and you can go into that same box as i did before so text hasn't got a great deal of options in terms of format but you can see that there are some and if i uh, do a date field so I'll just put date joined as if they're going to join and then I'll change that data type to date so when you change it to date you'll have different formatting options date if I go across to format now I have different formatting options for that so you can see the different layout types I can select there UK dates or you can change that to US dates if you want. So I'm just going to leave that as it is, clicking OK. What you're supposed to do in this description area is, is describe what the column is about. These are fairly straightforward. But if you had like a code number or something like that, you might need to describe what that's for if you're using codes instead of names, customer ID and person ID and things like that. You would have to describe what that is for. So if I just save this table, to name a table you use the qualifier as tbl and then i'm just going to call it customers like so click ok in fact i've got caps lock on there tbl customers and then click ok and then close this design view down and then it should be ready for me to edit some data there it is table customers sitting in this quadrant if i double click on that it opens up the table with those column headings. So if I just type some information in there, you'll see how that works. So AMAC, 
and then I've tabbed across one red road, tab across leads, tab across and put the telephone number in 222, tab across and then put today's date in 210825, 25 even. Press tab to come down into the next one, and then this one can be Bob IT, and you repeat the process like so. Two red road leads, and then telephone number, and then today's date as well. So that'll be the 27th of 0925, pressing tab. And then when you finish entering data, you close this down. That data is stored in there. You don't have to save it. It is automatically saved, but you can just keep adjusting that data in terms of adding new records as you go along. Now, once you've got all the data in your table, you would then start interrogating that data with a query. You might create a form to input that data. Instead of inputting data through that, you would have a form as an interface, and then you run reports. As you develop the database, you create multiple tables and then link those together. And then again, these three objects come into play. But that's all I want to talk about on this little video, how to get started with your first table, creating a table and a new database. So hopefully this has been of use. Next one will be multiple tables and then a few forms. So hopefully this video has been of use. Thank you for your time and I'll catch you on the next one.